Hello beauties, how are you all doing? My name is Shaz, short for Shahrazad, and I love colorful makeup, as you can see. Today I'm wearing all greens because St. Patrick's is upon us, and I want to do an eye look and a get ready with me style, just chit-chatting. I haven't been on this channel in a little bit, I'll talk a little bit about that. I try to do a get ready with me every time I kind of go for a little bit. And this time we're going to try Jungle Roar from JCat Beauty. This is the first palette I've tried from this brand. Love the outside packaging. I had to say that. It's a beautiful palette on the inside. Look at this. Although it's a little bit difficult to see the color story with the background, but I do feel that for this particular palette, it actually goes. For a lot of palettes, I feel like it gets too cluttered. I wish the background was like black or white or green. But for this palette, I think the background actually goes with sort of the theme of it being a jungle and being kind of crowded and being super colorful. Can't wait to jump into it. And if you can't either, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Now let's go into the video. TJ Maxx and then I went on JCat Beauty's website afterwards and I realized that the palette is still available at full price on their website. I'm gonna, I'm sure it's gonna go on sale at some point. It just gave me such amazing vibes. It's so colorful and I've never tried JCat Beauty. How much did I buy this for? I bought this for $8 um, minus tax so you have to add tax to that but I like the color story. I like it let's see how it performs i'm gonna get started on with painterly from mac as you see i don't have nails i figured you know i can use this palette do a little video for you all and then talk a little bit about how things are going why i haven't been around in a little bit i think i mentioned in my last video that i'm gonna be in miami uh, sorry in florida not miami last weekend if you traveled friends since the whole situation that happened around the world the whole disease thing since that travel has gotten kind of ridiculous because airlines are trying to make the most money they're probably overbooking flights i think every single time i've traveled in the past few years flights have been delayed i had to in many cases sit on the runway in the plane you know all boarded for over an hour because there was some maintenance situation and they had to look at something i'm gonna go into i want to do kind of a greenish look so i'm gonna go into this let's go wild such a beautiful color oh my i'm putting this in my in my crease so that's been the case for the past few years and it happened to me again. This whole travel was such a mayhem going. I got stuck in Miami and my flight going in was late and I've literally been stuck in Miami airport multiple times because of airline issues and they have ended up having to give me a hotel. So again, I got stuck in Miami because going, our flight had a maintenance problem, so it was delayed, so I missed my connection. And then they told me the next flight is going to be in like 30-ish hours. I'm going to go into this beautiful color called Snake Pit. Very pretty. And I'm just doing this over my lid. And then coming back, same thing. Well, not exactly the same thing, but coming back, also flight was delayed. Part of the reason why I didn't end up posting was because the whole travel schedule and everything had to be replanned at some level I had to redo some things this this color is a little too powdery but it's pretty pigmented as you can see let me use the first brush and blend it into this color and see very nice very nice this is a first impression video friends a lot of my get ready with me videos if not all of them are just first impression videos so if i tell you i like a palette take that with a grain of salt because it might just be that this is the first time i'm using the palette maybe after many uses i have a different opinion if i've used all the different colors in the palette it rarely happens that i think i like a palette and then i'm like after 
five uses I'm like no this palette is junk you know I'm liking this I'm liking this I'm now gonna pick a slightly slanted brush and I'm gonna go into this one and I'm gonna put this here at the outer V area very little bit of it just to give it a little more dimension and I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna use the same brush to go under my lash line just brushing it across so far the quality has been pretty good particularly for the price friends it's like an eight dollar palette I mean the full price I think on their website was fourteen dollars but you know if you can pick it up at TJ Maxx and speaking of TJ Maxx I've been seeing a lot of stuff at TJ Maxx I have already mentioned I've been seeing Bridgerton I've seen a lot of stuff I packed Pat McGrath I saw Pat McGrath's Celestial Nirvana palette the palette that came out for holidays last year 2022 so a few months ago I saw it brand new untouched never opened at TJ Maxx for like $35 and I thought about picking it up. And then I thought, you know, I have all these colors 200 times over. The reason I picked the palette like this up is because it's so colorful. It, this, this brings me to life. A palette like this, but that palette, I don't know. It's just too done, been there, done that. Pat McGrath palettes, friends. I feel like at some point I'm gonna buy one to review in this channel but none of Pat McGrath's palettes makes me think that this is the ultimate palette for me. I'm gonna pick the first brush again and just quickly blend all of these edges. If there are any other colors, just blending them into each other. Okay, beauties, then I'm gonna pick this medium color and I'm just blending out that dark color into my lower lash line very pretty I love this eye look I love a full matte look I'm going to use a little bit of this yellow in this area just in my inner corner and calling it a day with a small small brush I'm gonna go into this color I'm putting this in my inner corner area just brightening it up and friends, as I mentioned, because of all the stuff that happened with the travel, I could not edit the to buy or not to buy video that I created. I have made a video and I'm in the process of editing it. And that's part of the reason why I'm not going to make a to buy or not to buy this week because I want to post that before I do any more to buy or not to buys. But I do want to say that yesterday Muse palette yes friends muse from cosmic brushes went live again they had it back in stock and i think it probably sold out again in like half an hour but i was the first time on that site i got my alarm set and i got on the site pretty early and i bought that palette so i'm looking forward to getting that and as soon as i get it i'm gonna make a video I'm also thinking that that's probably going to be the palette that I'm going to take on a trip with me. Oh, before I forget, although I think I mentioned this maybe in one of the videos that's not up yet, but I'm going to say it again that I'm going to be doing another international trip in a few weeks. So end of March, I'm not going to be in the U.S. anymore. Now, last time I was out of the U.S., I still uploaded a few videos. I did some pre-filming and editing that I uh, uploaded but I also edited some videos as I was outside of the country I might try to do the same thing but I wanted to mention that because I wanted to say that Muse is likely going to be the palette that's going to go on the trip with me I'm also waiting on a couple of other things that are going to come up as soon as I receive them if you follow my to buy or not to buy as you know which palettes those are as far as this eye look is concerned friends I like it I'm very much enjoying this I love an all matte palette I'm gonna do a little bit of a blend here and a little bit of a blend here and I'm liking this it's very nice but you know what I'm gonna do just to try the shimmers in the palette also I am going to add a little bit of NYX's glitter primer just a little dab as you know this is one of my favorite products 
and I'm gonna dab in here and I'm gonna go into this color called Pride Land beautiful olivey color and very nice shimmer it's super creamy I'm just putting it here on top of the glitter primer just to brighten up the look a little bit I'm doing that on both sides if you're following this the matte look was complete you could just rock that but I did want to try a little bit of the shimmers just to have an opinion of the shimmers in this palette and I can tell you that this shimmer is pretty creamy and nice okay beauties everything is done I also put a little bit of Melanade from ColourPop on my lips to complete the look. Last I checked on ColourPop, this was available, and I think I bought mine in the past six months. You didn't hear that because I'm on a no-buy for lips, but for lip and lip products, but you didn't hear that. Based on first impressions, I like this palette. It's pretty cute. I found the qualities of the mattes pretty good. I found them very pigmented, pretty blendable. You can see, you know, it didn't really take me a whole lot of time to make this eye look. Also, the shimmer was very creamy and pigmented, spot on. Some of the shades were a tad bit powdery, but in terms of pigmentation, there was no issues. The issue with powderiness for me is when it's so powdery, it just blends away into nothingness or just like, if the wind blows, it's gone from my eyes. And as you can see, that's not the case with this. So if it's a little powdery, it has a little bit of fall off. That's not the biggest deal. Am I looking forward to try this some more? Absolutely. Definitely want to make more eye looks with it. If you want to see me do more eye looks with it, because it's a very affordable palette, let me know. I can definitely do like another reddish, brownish, neutral into red type of a look with this. Beautiful colors. I can't wait to use some of these dark and bright mattes in another look. So if you want to see something like that, let me know. I also love the packaging. I know I didn't say a whole lot about it. There's a snake at the top here, super cute. There's a little, I don't know, cheetah there. And this guy looking into binoculars, a toucan. Very nice artwork. I'm definitely enjoying the colorfulness of the packaging and it's a good representation of the inside. I don't know if I've told you all, I am an artist, not as a job, but I used to be an artist. I've done artwork and art exhibitions in the past. So definitely enjoy a little bit of color and packaging and appreciate beautiful packaging like this. This palette is part of a collection that includes two more palettes. After using it, I'm guaranteed to be buying the other ones if I see them at TJ Maxx particularly one of them uh, right off the top of my head I remember had purple colors friends purple and pink and you all know that's totally me so if I see that I'm picking it up and I'm gonna do an eye look for you all in here anyway friends tell me what your thoughts are on this brand if you've used it on this palette if you've used it and generally what you all think about of me doing maybe more affordable makeup brands and do a review of more affordable makeup brands because i do a lot of indie reviews that are a little bit more expensive than this palette anyway beauties thank you all for being here with me if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this i love you all have a fantastic day and until next time bye